Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this orange lip makeup tutorial that has been highly requested and I've been wearing very, very much. But the first thing that I'm going to be doing is applying concealer on my lids. Then I'm gonna go in and start doing my brows and I'm using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe. So I'm just shading it in. And to seal my brows, I'm going to be using the Gimme Brow by Benefit and then concealing the bottom portion of the eyebrows just to clean them up and so they can look a little bit better. For the eyes, I'm going to be using the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette by Too Faced and I'm starting off by applying the Shadow Peanut Butter. This combo that I'm showing you guys here is what I've been using almost every day and many of you have been asking me what I've been using on my eyes, so here it is. But now I'm applying on the lids the Shadow Bananas, just making sure to cover the entire lid. And then I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy brush just to make sure that everything's completely blended. On the eyebrow bone, I'm going to be highlighting that area using the white shadow in the palette. Now I'm going in with an eyeliner and I'm going to do a cat eye. And I'm using the Tarte Tartiest Eyeliner. This is actually a new product that I've been testing out. And this was the first time testing it here on camera. It was actually very easy to create my cat eye, so... I really, really like that about the product. For the lashes, I'm applying the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. And then going back in with the eyeliner or marker and just making sure that the glue isn't very visible. For the primer, I'm using the Dr. Brent Pores No More. And I'm going to be combining some foundations. I'm using the, the Ultra HD by Makeup Forever, but the stick version and blending it all out. And then adding a bit of the Remarkable by Marc Jacobs. If you're wondering why I'm combining these foundations is because usually when I apply a foundation, I, depending if I want extra coverage, I blend a ultimate full coverage one with something that's like medium, depending on what kind of finish I want, whether it's a matte, it's a demi matte, and this finish that I'm going to be showing you here is a demi matte full, full coverage. So that's why I did that combination in case you guys are wondering. But now I'm going in with a concealer and I'm using the LA Girl HD Concealer in the tone Creamy Beige. And I'm just going to be blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. So I set the under eye area and whatever is left over on the brush, I just apply all over my face. For the bronzer, I'm using the Hoola by Benefit. And I'm not going to exaggerate too much on bronzing i'm just adding a little bit of definition to my face because what i really want to stand out is my lipstick and of course the cat eye i feel like it's going to be a great combination now i'm going to be smoking out the bottom lash line with the tone peanut butter For the mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartius Mascara. This is also a new product. Now for the blush, I'm going to be using the City Color Cosmetics Timeless Beauty Palette. I'm completely obsessed with this palette and it's so, so affordable. I'm taking an orange-based blush and applying it on the cheeks. Before doing anything else, I'm going to make sure to give some definition to my nose and I'm using, again, the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. So this is my way of really contouring my nose or giving it some definition. I feel like it's somewhat necessary depending on the makeup look that you're doing, just so that everything looks pretty even. 
And now I'm taking a highlighter. This one is Champagne Pop by Becca and applying very, very, very little. So that's why I'm using my finger. I'm not using a brush. Now that I applied my highlighter, I'm going to be lip lining my lips with this LA Girl lip liner in the shade Nectar. And for the lipstick is this MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in quite the standout. And I've been using this color so, so much and I've been getting so many compliments. If you want to know about the formula of this product, I have a whole review and swatches for the MAC Liquid Lipsticks. But that's completely it. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Many of you have been wanting to know how I get this look. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't. Bye guys!